Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase convention models today. We are just over a week away from Hot Wheels Nationals in Atlanta, Georgia. I will be there doing a ton of stuff, doing giveaways, doing showcases, seeing friends, checking out some cool models, looking for stuff from my collection, you name it. I will be there. I'm very, very excited. I know many of you will be there too. Looking forward to seeing and meeting many of you. Enough about that. Let's talk about the models in front of us. Well, let's talk about the convention models. We're going to rank them because we're going to do a couple of things, a couple of events. I've got, uh, well, several things kind of lined up. We've got this video today where I'm going to do two top five rankings, the best and my favorite convention models from the past. We're going to be doing a whatnot pre-convention giveaway and sales show on Saturday, March 30th. There'll be details down below. I'm going to be giving away some convention models. I'll be uh, making available some pretty highly desirable convention models for those that want them. Um, more on that. You can go to whatnot for that, but that's uh, that will be one thing. And then a week later, what day would that be? One of the uh, the Saturday in April, in the first week of April, a week after the 30th. I'm not going to do my math. I think maybe the 6th. Um, but it's there bookmarked as well and whatnot. I'm going to be doing a full giveaway as I've done at the last couple conventions. I'll be giving away all of the convention models, those that have been um, already unveiled, the Supra and the Moon Eyes Gasser, um, and those that are yet to be unveiled. No, I'm not talking about leaked, unveiled officially, dinner model, uh, finale model, and uh, the pink model, if it's there, we're going to be giving, well, well, we'll get a pink model to make sure we're giving away. So we'll be giving away all five of the convention models um, from the convention. So looking forward to that. All of that is there. You can bookmark them. So you are there so you can win some stuff or get some stuff, whatever you want to do. But I thought in, in, uh, in advance of that, I would do a ranking of the models that I think are the best executed. And then also the models that are my favorite. When you talk about the Hot Wheels convention, I mean, there is well, let's talk a little bit about them. I'm going to show you some of the models that I considered while I'm talking and um, for the top five. And I'll be, like I said, I'm going to do the best executed models, regardless of whether I like them or not. I like them all, but you know, you know what I mean? Executed models that are kind of just a little more special than, than maybe the typical. And then the models that are my just personal favorites from uh, conventions past. The convention models are done by Hot Wheels, but I always like to clarify this. They're actually commissioned outside of the pink model. That's done by Mattel. Um, as part of like an RLC tie-in to the convention. That's why they're available in Mattel Creations um, after the convention, the, the pink model. But all the other ones, the finale, the dinner, and the two convention models are actually commissioned by um, Collectors Events Unlimited who run the convention. That's Mark and Jennifer Milholland. And so it's one of the reasons that I've passionately told people not, even, they, even if they see leaked photos of the conventions, not to show them because these are this is a little bit different than something that just got leaked from Mattel's factory. These are chosen and executed. You know, they they come up with the ideas and then Mattel executes the models, but they're all put together by the convention folks and they put their money into them. Um, it's not something that Mattel just does and gives to them. They actually invest in these models to to attract people to come to the convention and, and Mattel supports them in that way by making them. And, um, and so these models need to be treated a little bit different than say your standard RLC or premium or everything else because there's there, there are small business owners behind these and so when they get leaked instead of unveiled at the convention i get pretty pissed off to be honest and um and so if you ever come across those pictures don't share them and um because it's 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 people putting in their own money and when they get leaked and some of the allure of those gets uh you know deflated a little bit it's it's very very frustrating so something to keep in mind as we talk about convention models you're seeing a lot of them now the other thing that's unique about these are the dinner models on a Thursday night um, of a, of each convention it's nationals in the spring and they are, there's a different location it's Atlanta this year Columbus Ohio last year um, and then in the fall, in the first week of October, is the Los Angeles convention, always typically done and had the last few years been done at the Marriott LAX. And, um, but every Thursday night, they do a dinner to celebrate someone from Mattel involved with the brand, usually a designer, but Jimmy Lou from marketing has been, uh, been the guest of honor in the past. And though they get to choose the model they want to do and really execute it however they want. And those models tend to show up in my favorites and best ofs too. So I've got a couple of those that will be in our rankings as well. You've seen what's been ex what what I already put up that I considered, and a lot of those are hype models uh, for sure. And I and hype in a good way, like popular skylines or Dotsons or things like that. But ultimately, I picked five. We'll go through my ranking. I'll do each one. I'll do the, a model that was my favorite, 
and the model that I think was best executed and we'll do these simultaneously. So we're gonna start with the model that I think, was, well, I'll start with my fifth favorite model from the, uh, from the past conventions. Um, and I'm going to say, now, like I said, this is favorite, then I'll do a fifth best. This is number five. And this was just from the most recent LA convention. This is the BMW M5. Uh, what's the official name? 2001 BMW M5 E39. This is actually the third execution of this casting, right? It was done in a diorama set first, the BMW uh, M diorama set, and then in red in Canyon Carvers, wasn't it? A very cool, clean version. And this is a third clean version. When I say my favorites, I'm actually just, I actually looked at my group of convention models on my display wall and picked out the five cars I liked the best. I didn't I didn't try and a attach them to anything pertaining to the convention. They're always really well executed, but just the five models that are just my favorite. So this one, a lot of people would say, well, that just looks like a standard uh, uh, premium, like from car culture. And it's true, it does, but it's beautifully executed. And it's just a model that I just plain like. You'll see that kind of theme go on with my favorites, but the BMW is one of them. I'm gonna try and keep them in the shot. Uh, but you'll see where we'll go. Next one, this is from Best Executed. This is, so favorites plus best. And I start with one that might be a little bit of a surprise. By the way, this list will change every time. I'll do this list a year from now, and it'll be completely different. And that's one of the fun things about doing these rankings. And that is from, what model was this? was might have been the 15th Nationals. I believe this was Kentucky. Here it is. This is a model that I would typically not showcase. This is a model that I would typically not be on any list of mine, but the execution of this one, and it is called, what is this model even called? It doesn't even say here on the bottom, but I think it might say turbine time. This model was designed by Larry Wood after he retired, and it actually was released in the main line with a plastic body metal base. They converted it to metal and metal for the convention for a dinner honoring him at the 15th, um, I think this was Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky. And again, this is where it may not be popular as a convention model that people have to buy, but for those that attended the dinner to honor Larry, uh, this was such a cool executed model. It really takes, it's the paint job that really takes this model to the next level, this matte black, and then it's got, you know, the turbines in the back, the stand clear, which is a really cool little detail. The wheels are amazing. This kind of dark gunmetal uh, color on these on these wheels. And it's just a very, very unique model. And execution wise, I think it's one of the best to really kind of showcase Larry's designs, Hot Wheels designs, kind of a nostalgic history element to it and just something special from the convention. So I'll put that one as my fifth best executed, best convention model uh, on the list. All right, now we go to my next one, favorite. My fourth favorite model. This one isn't a surprise, it's actually right in front of you right now, and it is this one. Yes, this one is hyped beyond belief. This sometimes is past $1,000 in the, in the secondary market. It is the very first release, I don't think it was supposed to be the very first release, of the RLC Nissan Skyline GTR, the BNR34. R34 Skyline is super popular. The blue one was the first RLC, but this one actually, just I think due to some delays, uh, was released first before that, uh, before that blue one was in this signature yellow that the Skyline is known for. Again, it's the same type of thing. I look at the display, I just pick out my five favorite models, and the R34 in this color, I like it. The purple Spectre Flame is really nice, but in terms of realistic R34s, I love the white one from the Diorama set. I love the Nismo set from the uh, the Nismo R34 from, uh, from, what was it, Team Transport. But this one done in yellow, especially in that ultra premium RLC version, is just fantastic. There's a reason why it's so expensive. It is rare, but it's also just so beautifully executed. And, uh, and that is one that I definitely would consider one of my five favorite. All right, back to the best executed models. And we go back to dinner models. They seem to, this is when designers have a lot of fun. They will, well, let's just say it. Larry Wood, the turbine time was well executed. Here is one that I don't think it was a, one of the pandemic conventions. So it actually, I don't think it even happened. 
but uh, they released the model anyway. And it is the 55 Bel Air Gasser, and that's a popular casting, but this one is all about the deco. Steve Vandervate did this one. Steve Vandervate does graphics for RLC. He does graphics for premium. His work is all over the place. He even does the graphics for the convention models. And this was a dinner that was going to honor him, and I don't think it happened. I think, uh, so the model had to be released to those attendees, even though the convention itself didn't happen. And Steve had a ton of fun. Gassers can be a canvas for anything, as we know, because they're just, they're playful race cars, right? So anything could be painted on them. And, and what Steve did was tapped into his Dutch heritage by calling this the Dutch Courage, and then adding Delft uh, pottery, like Delft porcelain art, all over the car, and it is super, super unique. You're used, you've probably, you're probably familiar with this type of art on, uh, I mean, let's be honest, on art you might see in your grandma's house, I think. And, uh, but this one done, and I, I will definitely give it more, more credit than that, right? But it's something that I probably, the first time I saw it, I probably saw it in my grandma's house. But it is this art style, and done as a gasser, done on a gasser, it's just a stunner. And I just absolutely love the creativity and choosing to do this that uh, Steve shows. Well, he, you know, he does so many cool models, more than you would even know. Uh, and then uh, that you're probably, I mean, probably almost every premium model you like, he did. Um, and then, uh, and just executing it this way. I just thought it was so cool, so creative, such a great use for a dinner car. And I think that is the fourth best executed convention model. I don't, so like I said, I don't remember if it was nationals or convention, but it was one of the, one of the pandemic, uh, COVID events. All right, back to faves. Here's one that I just look at the, look at, and it's just one of my favorite models. One of my favorite castings done in a beautiful execution. Also, yeah, this was Lexington, Kentucky. Now I know that that Larry Wood one was because this was from the same event. It is the Greenwood Corvette. This one had some great models in it. The 70 Mustang or 69 Mustang bosses from was in this uh, event. This was the finale model. Um, the finale is given out obviously to attendees at the uh, on the Saturday night when Mattel presents the um, upcoming models and everything else. This one, the reason they did the Greenwood, outside of the fact that it's just one of the best castings Hot Wheels has ever done, is that the Corvette Museum is there in Kentucky. And they wanted to do a special Corvette, and they picked a perfect casting, in my opinion. And this one is just a fantastic, beautiful execution. It's obviously not done in the racing style of the Greenwoods, but I thought that this one was done really, really well, and it's a perfect convention model. I think I have, I'll put this down here, I think I have it. Yeah, I don't know if I can show this, but there it is on the card as well, and I can show you some of the details there. How many were made? Only 1,200 were made. This was number 512, the one I have carded, and of course the loose one, I have no idea, but but there it is on the card. Just fantastic, fantastic. I have, see, I forgot I brought these out. I have the BMW from the last convention in LA last year. And any others that I put in here? The Skyline you can see in front of you, right? That's it. We'll keep going. All right. So we're down to two of my favorites. We're down to three of the best. And here is one that I think, in fact, speaking of Steve Vandervate and his gasser, here's Steve Vandervate and another gasser. Now I have to see, I'm looking at the model. This is from the 12th annual Hot Wheels Collectors. Is it? No, 18th. Dallas, Texas. I'm barely looking. I can barely read it. And it is the Supernova Gasser. Larry Wood again, that's a Larry Wood casting. Uh, Steve Vandervate's design. And there's one specific reason why this one is in my best executed models. Because it is the first that actually had a textured paint job done on the roof. This is something that Steve wanted to play with. And he talks about how the convention models seem to be the perfect place to do this. And so not only is that pattern on the roof in this copperhead gasser but it actually is textured obviously you're not going to see it but I can feel it and if I try and get it in the proper light before I put it on the turntable you can see how it's a textured roof we've seen that there was a peppermint gasser a mercury that they did and then Jeremy Cox's dinner model which I really it was really close you saw it on the turntable earlier has the texture element all over the body of the uh, it's the GMC panel van 
But this was the very first one, and I still think it is just beautifully, beautifully executed. The Supernova Gasser is very popular. Um, I know there'd probably be people who like other versions of this one, especially in the RLC, but I think this one's executed beautifully with the, um, with the textured roof. I just thought that that was super, super cool and super, super creative, showing off Steve's immense talent. So that one is there and best executed. Two more. Let's go back to best or to favorites. This one is also in the background. Another dinner model. And again, I just look at the board. I pick out my five favorite models. This one's not about execution. This is, well, this is about execution, but it's just about how beautiful this is. There it is. From, as you can see, Charlotte, North Carolina. This was the dinner model celebrating Julian Coyles, who does so much of the packaging art for car culture. He manages all of that. He does all the packaging art for the convention models and a bunch of other stuff. He was the guest of honor in Charlotte a couple of years ago. And this, he's also a Mustang fanatic. And they took the Cobra R casting that at the time still hadn't even been released yet um, in Spectre Flame Red and did this teal color. Now I know that the Cobra R I think was only released in red. Like the teal was not an official color, but this teal color is a signature, especially from this era, Mustang color. And having this done so clean with the 10 spoke wheels, so done so well, I just, it's just one of my favorite Hot Wheels models ever, just in color and execution and the casting is just, just near perfect. A couple of things about this too, as you look at it, is there was a time, and you can see on some of these models, that the logo of the convention was put on the models. And for a lot of us, you know, it's cool. You want to know that it came from the convention. You understand that. But sometimes they could take away. Like, for example, if you're coming back, you can see on the roof of the Corvette here, it's, it's there. Um, it didn't have to have it there, right? Because sometimes they're very, they're, there's too many colors going on. But a few years ago, they started just putting the information. Let's see if I can show that. See, on the, somewhere on the model, but in a more subtle way. So this one gets on the spoiler. I think on the skyline is the same thing. You'll see it. You'll see that uh, it'll just show up somewhere. But so you know it's a convention model. But at least it's not. You know it doesn't take away from the rest of the model. So that's one that's a favorite of mine. Um, all right, let's go back to best executed models. And this is another one that I think just stands out in terms of paint, in terms of execution, and it's just beautiful. I considered, now there's some that have that have done, not all the convention models, Spectre Flame is pretty much reserved for RLC, but it will occasionally creep in. And I don't even know if this color is even considered Spectre Flame, but it sure does stand out. And it's iconic casting done in an iconic way. It is the 67 Camaro, of course. This is from, it's got the number 50 on it. Let me see if I, can, oh, here, it's right there, because this is when they did the logos on the back of the car. 30th convention, obviously in LA, and um, this one in the chrome gold, which again, I don't know if you'd consider the Spectre Flame, but with the chrome rims, is just a stunner of a model. Between this and the RLC um, Golf model they did on this casting, I don't need any other 67 Camaros. As iconic as this casting is in the history of Hot Wheels, I just don't know if anything gets better than this gold version from the 30th convention in LA. And uh, with those wheels, just it's just a perfect, perfect showpiece. And uh, obviously, there's not. I wouldn't know if I wouldn't say that there's anything like particularly creative about this, but it's just the ultimate, the ultimate execution of this. Just kind of leaves you in awe as just a beautiful, beautiful Hot Wheels car. So that is one. That's my second best executed model. And we're down to the final two. My favorite. And the model that I consider best executed. And they could have been the same, to be honest. And maybe in a future video, they will be. But one of those models, which is my favorite, is also on the board. You can see it. And I think a lot of people would say this is the best convention model ever done from Nationals in Columbus, Ohio last year. The finale model, the Porsche 930. I think you could even say this one is one of the best executed models. As clean and as uh, quote-unquote plain as it might seem, the wheels done in this copper, uh, that's like this modern Fuchs wheel done in the copper color just with black, it's just a stunner of a model. Another one, just like the, just like the Mustang, 
that released anywhere would just be super, super popular, just gobbled up. And we saw that with the Boulevard version in yellow, right? As soon as it released, it was the most popular model in that set. And this one, based on aftermarket prices, it's not up to the yellow skyline yet, but uh, maybe give it time. Uh, it might get there because this is just, it's a Porsche. It's beautiful in black. It's super, super clean. And the wheels are what really, really sets this model apart. And yeah, it's my favorite. It's an, it's a, it might be a top five all timer for me in general, but it is my favorite convention model just because of how beautiful it is. Now, what's the final? What's the best executed model? And I could even put this up on my favorites list as well, but I decided just to reserve it as the best executed model. And this one comes all down to the treatment that this casting got. I'll even start with the carded version. I think the best executed convention model ever is the 1981 DeLorean DMC-12. Dinner model honoring Manson Chong. That's the sticker for that one. And it is a DeLorean. It looks like it's just, you know, the stainless steel like all DeLoreans. They've done that in Boulevard. They have done that in... I think Boulevard a couple times, right? They've done it on the... Uh, I don't know if they've done Zamac, but uh, in the basic range. But this one comes down to the way they wanted to create the stainless steel look for this one. I gotta show it to you. So here's the model. I actually have the going doors open. I'll close them. And Manson signed this one for me. It's fading a little bit, but this is the loose model I have in my display. But we'll put it on the turntable, and while it's on the turntable, you really have to focus on this brushed metal look that it has. Now, I, I've heard Brendan Vitusky talk about the process that they went through for this, but I don't remember all of the science of it. But this was a several step process that they went through, and I guess there was so much back and forth with the factory to try and create, they, they looked at several different techniques to try and make it look as raw and stainless steel as possible and as brushed as possible. And it was back and forth and back and forth. And they finally figured out a technique that would work. And it was so involved that they were like, we will never do this again. We could never do it um, and to, for a, from a cost perspective for any other model at any time. I mean, maybe we'll see it for something special, but they thought for the very small, how many did they make of this one? 4,000, that they they went to crazy lengths to get this to look the way it does. And it's amazing how cool this model looks. So just for that alone, and maybe, maybe we'll have Manson or Brennan talk about this process. He could maybe put a post up on Instagram or something. Um, but it's a really, really cool, so beautifully executed model. And it really does look like the surface of a DeLorean. Manson loves DeLoreans. He loves Back to the Future. He owns a DeLorean himself. That's why he chose this casting. And then they just went to town to execute it. And I just think this thing is super, super special. And there you go. My rankings. Best and favorites of the convention models from the two events. I kept the pinks out. Didn't do any other conventions. It's just the uh, the two conventions, Hot Wheels conventions done here because there's other one in Japan and some others, but I stayed focused on these. And Atlanta's going to give us some other good ones and we'll see if they uh, fall in that rank. I will be making many of these models available. The Porsche, the Skyline, the Mustang, I think the DeLorean um, on whatnot. So you want to be there if you're watching this before March 30th. And then definitely uh, if you're at the convention, let's hang out. And um, you'll see some content from there as well. Thanks, everybody. Bye.